I am Farnab Lawazir and this is Bizwall. Malaysia's gross domestic product GDP grew by 3% in the fourth quarter last year compared to 3.3% in the previous quarter. As such, Chief Statistician Datuk Sri Muhammad Uzi Mahidin said Malaysia's economic performance increased to 3.7% in 2023 as compared to 8.7% in 2022. During this quarter, services sector grew by 4.2%, mining and quarry grew 3.8%, agriculture grew 1.9%, construction grew by 3.6%, meanwhile, manufacturing decreased marginally 0.3%. Malaysia's overall economic growth in 2023 was driven by the services sector, followed by the construction and manufacturing sectors. On the demand side of the economy, the growth was led by private final consumption, consumption or household expenditure, followed by gross fixed capital formation and government final consumption expenditure. Meanwhile, both exports and imports declined by 7.9 and 7.6 percent, respectively, with net exports recording a decrease of 11.3 percent in 2023. Malaysia's economic performance is in tandem with other ASEAN countries, which showed moderate growth last year, namely Singapore, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Meanwhile, the Madani government is confident of achieving stronger growth between 4 and 5 percent this year on the back of strong fundamentals and reforms mapped out in the Madani economy and 2024 budget. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim said despite a challenging external environment last year, the country's economy is supported by resilient domestic demand rose by 5.2 percent in the fourth quarter. This has helped cushion the 3.2% decline in trade as exports soften on the back of cooling global demand. Meanwhile, the government has also successfully reduced fiscal deficit to 5% in 2023 from 5.6% in 2022. It's also determined to further narrow the fiscal deficit to 4.3% this year in line with commitments in the Public Finances and Fiscal Responsibility Act 2023. Malaysia's inf inflation is projected to remain modest this year due to the stability in both cost and demand dynamics. According to Bank Negara Malaysia, both headline and core inflation have eased, primarily driven by reduced cost pressures amid st stabilising demand conditions. Inflation outlook, however, remains subject to domestic policy changes on subsidies and price controls, as well as global commodity prices and, and financial market developments. Headline inflation continued to decline to 1.6% during the fourth quarter compared to 2% in the third quarter of 2023. The downward trend was contributed by the moderation in fresh food inflation and core inflation. Bank Negara also highlighted that reduced core inflation was mainly driven by declines in service subsegments such as dining out and personal vehicle maintenance. For 2023 as a whole, headline inflation declined to 2.5% compared to 3.3% in 2022. Retirement Fund Incorporated KWAP announced the first batch of investments under its Dana Printis strategy, amounting to 100 million ringgit. It comprises two direct investments in Malaysian startups and two venture capital fund commitments. KWAP said it has invested in two promising Malaysian companies, Betriku and Lapasa, to further support their growth and expansion plans. It has also made commitments to two VC funds, namely Vin Capital, a homegrown fund that invests from the seed stage, as well as Antler, the world's most active early stage VC from pre-seed to Series A and beyond. Bursa Malaysia closed marginally higher as buying continues thanks to the inflow of fresh foreign funds. At 5 p.m., the FBM KLCI increased by 5.17 points to 1,533.65 points. 
Overall, market breadth was positive with 553 gainers against 450, while 500 were unchanged. Rakuten Trade expect buying momentum on local equities will continue, spurred by a renewed sense of optimism with the returning of foreign funds into the region. And that's all that we have for BizWorld. I'm Farah Nabilah Wazir. Keep tuning in to TV Tiga.